Okay, so let us first check the part A. That is 17 times x squared equal to 10. So we have 2 to the 21 times x squared equal to 2 to the 23. From this we get x squared equal to 2 squared. That is x equal to plus minus 2. And we get x equal to 2 which is mod of 29 or x equal to 27 times mod of 29. For the part B, we have x squared minus 4 times x minus 16 equal to 0 times mod of 29. So we have x squared minus 4 times x plus 4 equal to 20. And that is x minus 2 whole squared equal to 2 to the 24 which is also equal to x minus 2 equal to positive and negative of 2 to the 12 which is also equal to positive negative of 7. So we get x equal to 9 comma negative 5 and x equal to 9 comma 24. Now similarly for the part C we have x to the 7 equal to 17 mod of 29. So we get x to the 7 equal to 2 to the 21 and x to the 7 equal to 2 cube to the 4 which is equal to 8 to the 7. Let x equal to 2 to the g. So we have 2 to the 7 g equal to 2 to the 21. And we get 7 times g equal to 21. And on solving, we get g equal to 3. So we have g equal to 3, 7, 11, 15, 19, 23, and 27. And 2 to the g would be equal to 2 to the 3, 2 to the 7, 2 to the 11, 2 to the 19, 2 to the 21, and 2 to the 27. And we get x equal to 8, 12, 18, 27, 26, 10, and 15, mod 29.